All right, I'm going to talk about something I've been experimenting with in this tank, which is the CO2 levels. Um, I don't inject CO2 or have DIY CO2, anything like that. But um, I have been trying to uh, figure out the best way to keep the CO2 levels up in this tank without um, actually, you know, injecting the CO2. And the main reason I've been doing that is because of the the struggles I've had with this Rotella back here which now looks fine but um just a few weeks ago I was having some real problems with that so I started to dose the um with the estimated index dry fertilizers and I also um started to uh I also added this power head because I uh I read somewhere that more circulation in a uh, non CO2 tank would allow more of the um, water to be exposed to the uh, levels of atmos the levels of CO2 in the atmosphere which is um, I forget but anyway uh, yeah so the more circulation would introduce more uh, water to the surface and therefore we'd have more CO2 uh, diffusing into the water but I recently noticed in some pictures that I had taken a while back, um, and it's always good to take a, take like a journal of your tank as you go along for this reason, and that is um, I noticed recently after I added the power head, I uh, started to get some straggly growth and smaller leaves on some of the Rotella. Uh, not directly after I added the power head, um, but about a week after that. And I found that strange, so I um I I've been turning off the power head, um, just to see what would happen for at least a week or two here, um, because I did a little more research and I read somewhere uh, that uh, Diana Walsted made a comment what made a comment uh, once about um, a dirted tank how. Uh, in a non-CO2 tank in general, more circulation is better, but in a dirted tank with no CO2, uh, less circulation is actually better. And this is something that uh, Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tanks uh, has also uh, somewhat said in some of his videos um, regarding the, the water circulation and stuff like that. So um, I've just been having the filter on which isn't making much of a disturbance in the surface of the water and uh, no power head for a while here just to see what is going to happen because uh, I'm hoping that um, that maybe the growth problems that I was having with the Rotella uh, was directly related to CO2 um, because Tom Barr on his blog he always seems to say that uh, most of the time it's a CO2 issue, um, especially in low-tech planted tanks. Uh, since you have so many plants, they're going to use that CO2 up quick. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been experimenting with. I've also um, been letting the CO2 kind of build up uh, at night, so I haven't been running the power head at night either. Uh, since plants release CO2 and um, uptake oxygen when the lights are off I've been letting them do that and then when I turn the lights on I put them directly over the ro areas of Rotella um, in order to um, make sure they're they're getting light when the CO2 levels are the highest in the tank so uh, I'll be making another update on this uh, experiment in a week or two here to see how it's going but uh, that's all I got on CO2 for now. So thanks for watching.